Callaway Golf, the three billion dollar golf juggernaut. Maybe you've heard of them. <laughs> Obviously, you've heard of Callaway Golf. It's the biggest golf company in the world. And uh, Top Golf, you heard of them? Yeah, they own them too. So maybe all those Bud Lights and fajitas are responsible for some of that profit. However, if we dial it all back around 30 years, it might actually be that one club that all of you probably remember, the Big Bertha, that is responsible for where they are now and all those billions of dollars later. Actually, I don't care about all the billions of dollars and Top Golfs and Bud Lights and Fajitas. I am here for retro golf, and so are you. Today, we're pitting the 1999 Callaway Great Big Bertha Hawkeye against the 2022 Callaway Rogue ST Max. Let's get it. We're gonna take you back in time to the mid 90s. Clearly, there must have been something in the water back then because we have been testing drivers from the 90s over and over. I mean, we didn't even have cell phones. We had these things called pagers. We had floppy disks. There was a show called Seinfeld. It might be the biggest show of all time. We had a badass band called Nirvana and who could forget Blockbuster. All right, I digress. Back to our originally scheduled programming. The Big Bertha line originally launched in 1991, but the great Big Bertha Hawkeye that I have here launched in 1999. It might look like a teeny tiny fairway wood now, but back then, this thing was a monster. Obviously, the drivers were a big hit in 95. So much so that the name has stuck around for like 25 or 30 years. There aren't many driver names that stick around that long in golf. And I bet almost every one of you have either played one or your buddy has. Our goal with retro golf is to pit old versus new and find out once and for all, is newer really better? So with that in mind, we chose the Callaway Rogue ST Max new for 2022. Like we've done in previous videos, if you're looking for the nitty gritty details, check the description below. We've got all kinds of articles for you to check out with all the details about the brand new Rogue ST Max. We're here for retro golf. We're here for old versus new. Let's get to our testing and how we performed it. We brought in nine golfers from each swing speed, low, mid, and high. Each golfer hit 10 shots for a total of 180 shots in the test. Now this is similar to how we run most wanted testing in my golf spy, but this is about nostalgia and fun. So just lean back, have fun, and let's see which is better, old versus new. Fight. First up, we're going with the heavy hitters. So listen up. If you swing 105 miles an hour and above, this is for you. All right, let's start with ball speeds first. The 2022 driver versus 1999. Uh-oh, 1999 loses by 3.8 miles an hour ball speed. Now let's go to carry distance. With 261.3 yards, the Rogue ST Max 2022 driver beats out the 99 driver by 17 yards. And total distance, once again, the 2022 driver wins out with a 15 yard advantage. All right, now to the meat and potatoes, the 90 miles an hour to 105. If that's you, this is your test data. We're gonna start with ball speeds first. 2022 versus 1999. 2022 wins again with a four mile an hour advantage over the older driver in ball speed. On to carry. Carry distance, we saw an 11 yard advantage for the brand new driver over that 1999 Great Big Bertha Hawkeye, you're still gaming. And for total distance, once again, almost a 12 yard advantage for the newer driver over old. And next up, the slower swing speeds. If your swing speed is 90 miles an hour or below, here you go. All right, let's start with ball speed first. With the Rogue ST Max, the 2022 version, having a 3.6 mile an hour advantage over the 1999 Great Big Bertha Hawkeye. When it comes to carry, I don't know how much you would pay for 10 yards, but that's what you're getting when you're getting the new driver over the old, 10 yards. And same when it comes to total distance. 2022, once again, newer, better than old. All right, it's early on in retro golf series here at My Golf Spy, but the Great Big Bertha Hawkeye seems to be holding its own. Yes, it gave up 17 yards, which seems like a lot, but in almost 25 years, 
that's still pretty good. And our testers really loved hitting this driver still. So, game over for the Great Big Bertha Hawkeye? Mm, if you've got it in your bag, it might still have a couple years left. That's it for Retro Golf today. But we really enjoy testing old gear. So if there's something that you want us to test, no matter what it is, but it's old and retro, you let us know in the comments section below. All right, everybody, stay classy.